imagine that you had a monster inside of your brain and that monster was laying dormant for a while like it was there but it was laying dormant and one day an inexperienced psychiatrist gave you a medication that was basically what the neurologist described as the straw that broke the camel's back and unleashed this monster who is now actively trying to murder you you would think okay this person has psychiatric issues this is a psychiatric problem no it is not a psychiatric problem it's a neurological issue it is technically classified as neurological not psychiatric so you're not crazy this is actually really happening and the way that it's happening it actually does have a psychological component so it does get a little more complicated than that because all of this built up trauma and stress that you've had over the years it kind of like built up into this like sludgy like storm made of stress and anger and and cortisol and 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 and, 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 and darkness that rewired your brain into this killing machine that is now trying to activate kill you and there is no medication that can stop this it's because they have never found a medication to stop this the only thing that can kind of work is taking a benzodiazepine because like a benzodiazepine is basically like giving the monster some weed like you know when you're taking some weed and you're like oh man dude i'm chilled that's the same thing that the benzo does to the monster so it kind of like calms the monster down it lulls the monster but as soon as the benzo wears off the monster is like la, 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 la. And you can take an antidepressant because, you know, it does make you pretty depressed. But, like, the antidepressant feeds the monster, so it just makes it worse. So the only thing that you can do is work as hard as you can to rewire your brain and work on uncovering and resolving these known and unknown traumas that you have no idea if you have or not but that are feeding this monster that is attacking your body and the way that it does it is so sinister so we have three types of muscles in our body we have the smooth muscles which are like the lungs and the heart and the bladder and the uterus we have the skeletal muscles which are like these kind of muscles that you can see and we have the cardiac muscles which are the muscles in our heart but this monster can't really get to the smooth muscles so it works with the skeletal muscles to squeeze on the heart and squeeze on the lungs and contort the body into like really painful positions and it squeezes on your bones until your bones crack and it contorts your body into like like monstrous positions and it can also affect your balance so it likes to just trip you up and make you fall a lot and it works on your body temperature so one day you can be really really hot or really really cold and again this is not a psychiatric condition this is actually something that's actually really happening your brain has been rewired to kill yourself and imagine that you had a monster in beard to kill yourself and it also it also hits your immune system so you're like allergic to everything now everything is like designed to just make you die because this monster wants you to die but you don't want to die so you have to work as quickly as possible to fix all of these messed up wires in your brain that the monster has crossed and uncrossed them and fixed the trauma and it's like working on a ticking time bomb before it's too late and the monster gets you that is fnd that is functional neurological disorder there is a 20 percent chance of remission but it will be there with you for the rest of your life and you just have to learn how to control it so that's what people with fnd go through i hope this helps somebody today